Hey everybody. So last week I made a video about why you should wear your pads when you ride bikes. Um, and I had a request on a comment on there to talk about what pads I wear. So I'm going to do that. And I'm going to cover one other thing at the end of the video too, which you've probably already seen in the title. But as always, I've got my notes over here because if I don't have them, I will lose my train of thought and not be able to make this video in one cut. So here we go. What pads do I wear? All right, let's go through them. I've got them over here. So for my ankle braces, I've got the Osser or Oser, I'm not sure how to say it, game day ankle braces. I usually find these on Amazon for like 20 bucks each, sometimes 15, so they're pretty cheap. And I've used them for like five years now. They've got these plastic sides on them and that's why I like them the most because they lace up like a boot kind of does. They wrap around these hooks here that you can see and then you tie them down and then you have the figure eight straps just like most other ankle braces but the plastic goes through the velcro as well so it's also protecting your ankles as well as being really fast and easy to lace up. So I've used these for like five years now and I absolutely love them. Probably wouldn't wear any other ankle brace. Um, from there, we got my shin guards. Oh. Should have had them closer. Right here. So they're pretty beat up and destroyed, really. But these things are like three years old and they still work. So I use them. I think they're like one industries or something. I don't know. Shin guards are usually all about the same. I got these as a gift and my girlfriend brought them for me and she bought them because they were $10 and she thought that you were only getting one because they were only $10 and ordered two pairs. So I actually have a brand new pair in my closet for when these completely decide to fall apart and not work at all. Yeah, other than that, I mean, I feel like shin guards are all about the same, so I use them because they work. And if I would have had these on, I wouldn't have hurt my shin like I did. Oh, knee pads. I've got one Cali knee pad and one shadow knee pad. These old shadow knee pads have hard plastic in them, and they're pretty big, but they're really comfortable and I love these things. I actually had another pair of them, but I have no idea where they went. That's why I wear this one and then this Cali one. These things are really slim fitting. Um, they have plastic in there. It's just not super thick. They work really well. They fit comfortably. Um, so I just mix and match them because I like them both. I like these a little bit more. And that's what I wear for knee pads. I mean, I've fallen really hard on these and been perfectly fine. Um, the last thing I want to talk about are my shoes because shoes are just as important as ankle braces. I wear these mid top shoes with a plastic cup for your feet and these combined with my ankle braces have saved my ankles more times than I can even count. I've had falls where I've fallen and literally just fell right all my weight onto my ankle fell to the ground, got up, people were looking at me disgusted because I had the worst fall ever and I just walked it off and was completely fine because I was wearing these rugged shoes along with ankle braces. These are actually mountain bike shoes and they've got plastic in the front as well. They've got awesome patterns on the bottom. They're a little old so you can't see it the best. The bottom is really thick so if you like thick bottom shoes mountain bike shoes are the way to go everything in bmx right now is super flimsy and doesn't last very long these things last forever you can't buy these exact ones anymore because teva doesn't make riding shoes anymore but there's other brands out there like 510 they make similar shoes you can get them look them up online get yourself a pair of mountain bike shoes you will not regret it <clears throat> so now that we've talked about what I wear, let's do some suggestions. If you're going to get ankle braces and you can afford it, I recommend to get the space braces that just came out from Mike Gray. 
everyone loves them everyone says they're extremely comfortable they're kind of expensive but if you can afford it get those because you're supporting bmx if you can't i love the ankle braces i have they're the osser osser game day ankle braces they sell them on amazon not too expensive i love them so either way you're gonna have a great ankle brace shin guards are all about the same so i mean get whatever you think will hold up and is the cheapest i guess um and knee pads they're pretty much all different so knee pads and all other pads really i recommend try them on before you buy them because i've had some that i bought and they rub my knees raw and i couldn't even wear them i just hated them i ended up giving them away so try them before you buy them because pads are extremely expensive and you don't want to waste your money on pads that you hate especially if you buy them online or somewhere where you can't take them back because they're pads so now that we've talked about my pads let's get to the title of this video and that is another quote that i heard and i heard this in a college class that i have and it was the best class that i've ever taken the quote is luck favors the prepared one so what does that even mean to me it means that being prepared in any situation for whatever could happen makes you lucky i mean let's talk about bikes if you've got a tube in your book bag and you pop your tube it's lucky that you had that tube right so pretty much i try to do that with every single thing possible i keep extra parts in my car just in case something breaks um and my whole thing is why rely on dumb luck whenever you can guarantee yourself some luck just by being prepared it's pretty simple um the parts that i keep in my car like i have a pair of cranks in my trunk just in case something really bad happens to my cranks i don't want the session to end the same thing goes for having pads on having pads on and falling and slipping pedals and not being hurt could be considered lucky but it only happens because you're prepared. Once again, luck favors the prepared one. So if I would have had my shin guards on, I wouldn't have hurt my shin and I would have been able to ride at our jam on Saturday a lot more than I did without having to worry about cutting myself open again. And that's why I always wear my pads and I'd rather be prepared and get lucky than unprepared and get unlucky the one time that I don't wear them just like I did. Same thing goes for life. I mean, that's why people carry jumper cables in their car and put a spare key outside their house sometimes. It's just why rely on dumb luck or have bad situations happen when you can prevent them and get lucky just by being prepared and doing simple little steps to keep yourself prepared for anything that could come up. I know that it's work. <sighs> Anyways, I'm going to keep this one take. I'm keeping this in here just because I've done so good so far. Anyways, it's worked for me so far trying to be prepared. I've gotten lucky in a million different scenarios just because I was ready for them. Luck has definitely favored me just because I've been prepared. But remember, this is supposed to be a conversation. I could be completely wrong, could be way off base and just be getting lucky for myself. I don't know. Let me know, though, in the comments. Let's talk. Um, if you wear pads, what pads do you wear? And if you don't wear pads, why don't you wear pads? Let's have a conversation in the comments below. Um, is there anything that you do to guarantee yourself luck in life? I don't know. Let me know in the comments. Thanks for watching, guys. We'll catch you in the next one. Goodbye.